but oh my gosh, I'm so happy we were able to do this today. For anyone that's watching right now, I just want to honor you. Honor you as a woman. I feel like there's so many women that are just wanting to learn what does it take? Like, what do I have to do in order for me to actually hit those $20,000 months, $30,000 months, $100,000 months, especially if you've been like working really hard. Like I know for myself, I was like, man, like I feel like I'm doing it all right and still not getting the results that I wanted to create, right? And so as I bring up this very special lady, uh, I want to tell you just a little bit about her because I feel like as women, we really get to stand together and honor each other. So Reem is a multiple six-figure business coach and marketing mentor who helps women entrepreneurs create their dream online presence, selling high ticket offers on autopilot using marketing automation. Okay. Reem comes from a corporate world. So my ladies that also have been corporate as well and always had this like itch to pursue a fulfilling career. She started coaching um, her coaching business while juggling a full-time job, scaled it to six figures in just eight months. And it's also now having a new baby along the way that she won't tell anybody if it's a boy or girl yet because she's waiting for a gender reveal party and we're all just waiting anticipably um, on the edge of our seat for her to tell us if it's a boy or a girl. So thank you, Reem. We're just got more pressure on you. Um, you know, over the years, Reem realized that there was a really big gap in this coaching industry. You know, and growing an online business becomes increasingly difficult, relying on only organic marketing, right? Coaches, online experts have been told, you know, you need to post daily content, you do the Facebook group, cold DMs, you know, doing all the sales calls and calling people cold. And it's just really not the way to go. Um, Reem knew that there had to be a better and easier way to grow sustainably online. So she teaches entrepreneurs how to leverage marketing and sales automation to get more time back using paid ads and automated feminine funnels. You know, her business is forecasted to hit a million dollars in revenue this year. She's helped over 300 women grow and their business and their community, um, she has over 20,000 entrepreneurs. And um, more importantly, you know, as you know, I met Reem, you know, she was hitting twenty five, thirty thousand dollars a month. And I remember when I was in the first conversation with her, she was asking me, she's like, Kayla, I want to hit hundred thousand dollars a month. Like, that's what I want to do. And so it was really cool seeing her actually hit that and um, watching her grow, watching her blossom, especially as she's preparing to, you know, be a new mommy. So welcome hello queen hi how are you good thanks thank you for the awesome introduction <laughs> i'm happy to be here my pleasure um you know i really wanted to just honor you because i feel like so many times exactly what you know you were saying that there's a lot of people that are trying to figure out leads right they're just trying to figure it out you know like hey i'm trying to get this going I, I have a really great product, I have a really great service. And for some reason, I just can't get the right leads in or they're doing countless hours of prospecting. And, you know, I know that you have a heart to help fix this. Can you kind of just elaborate a little bit more on like what you do and and like why you do it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what I do basically is I'm a marketing strategist and mentor and I help uh, mostly women just set up their own automated marketing system. This means running paid ads, mostly on Instagram, but also on Facebook, um, you know, creating a funnel that is a high converting funnel that is also very feminine because I work mostly with women that take, you know, complete strangers from cold to hot in a matter of hours or days and really help them fill their pipeline with qualified leads, right? Which is something that's been, um, you know, really hard for a lot of people to figure out as business owners. Um, and essentially just done a lot of testing and learning and also with my background being in visual marketing, uh, that's something that I felt, you know, was needed to be brought to just, you know, more people's knowledge and, and, you know, using that in order to help them just get more leads in their business, but also get more sales clients um, and helping them grow their business in a way where they're not going to exchange a ton of time for money and they can have more freedom in their business. Yeah, no, I think that's amazing that you do that because I feel like it's the missing piece a lot of times, you know, and like when I first met you too, right, like you had all the pieces of the puzzle together and it was like, 
there was something missing, right? Um, can you give us like your experience of, you know, coming in before like having like at least even our script and like kind of like the guidelines and like what happened after? Yeah. So you're a hundred percent right. Something was missing. I had a lot of the pieces figured out in my business. So I had obviously like the social proof. I had help people. I have like an incredible program that, um, you know, I relaunched late last year that has been just like the best thing I've ever birthed. Right. Um, that's really life changing for a lot of business owners, especially women. Um, you know, I practice what I preach, a lot of what I teach in terms of strategies to generate leads every single day in, you know, your business is the same strategies I use for my business. So I had a lot of leads coming in. Um, but my, uh, closing rate was really low. Right. And, uh, it's, you know, sales is something that I learned over the years through mostly male coaches or, you know, just oh, having like more of a masculine, um, you know, approach. And as a result, um, you know, it was really hard for me to convert people. So the system was working. A lot of what I was doing was generating amazing results. But when it came to closing, um, I closed clients, but I didn't see myself closing you know, $100,000 worth of sales every month because my strategies, the ones that I was using, I was using was not really working the way it should have. So mm -hmm. um, this is a lot of like what I alluded to when we talked the first time. And um, I knew you could help me just because your sales style is clearly completely different than anything I've ever learned before. And I knew this is what I needed in order to just bridge that gap the final gap i had in my marketing and sales process yeah no i i really i appreciate that because i feel like you care so much right and i feel like that was the issue it's like i care so much about these ladies i'm trying to help these ladies you know be able to obtain leads so they can make you know the money that they want in their business and then it's like you're talking to the women and for some reason like what was the main objections that you were getting um, I was getting a lot of like, oh my God, everything you say sounds amazing. Like your program sounds incredible. So I knew I was on the right path in a way, but you know, I need time to think about it or I need to talk to my spouse. I need to validate these things with, you know, my partner. Um, so it was not like, um, negative objections. Like it was still very positive. I knew I was on the right track. But I was still getting these objections. And um, that was kind of where I, I definitely struggled the most in terms of my sales process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like the most times that I see somebody say, I need to think about it, is because somewhere in the call, we're not going deep enough. Do you feel like that's also your experience? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I think... I thought I was going deep enough, but I was no, not going deep enough at all. I realized that after, you know, working with you and realizing that, you know, everything I was doing was too surface level. Um, you know, my heart is in the right place. I wanted to help these ladies, like the women who are the leads, right, coming through and booking the calls. They're all incredible like just i'm bl i was blown away by until now by every person i talk to because they're inspiring they have a big mission they want to make an impact and i'm like it would be such an honor to help you but something was missing and you're right it's just we wouldn't go deep enough we were just talking about you know business goals in general what's not working in their business and then kind of going straight to the pitch and you know there wasn't any like weird feeling but or like anything that did during the pitch it still went well but th these objections happened all the time and my closing rate was probably around 10 percent. and don't forget these are people coming from cold traffic these are not like people that have been in my community for a long time so because i was running the ads and generating the leads so um you know it was okay but it was not enough for me and i knew something had to change. yeah yeah, I think that, you know, not only just by like 10% of being cold, like the time, like the time that it takes to get on so many sales calls, right? Especially, you know, you're about to be new mommy, right? Like all this stuff's coming. So it's just like, okay, like energy, energy, energy. Like, I don't know if you experienced that because sometimes that I have my calendar packed, 
And if no one closes, I'm like, oh my God, like this whole day, like what happened to it? Right. Um, so when did you feel like there was like a switch? Cause I know it was like, you got our script and then like the next day you closed or it was like the next hour, like what happened? I can't remember. <laughs> it happened fast. It definitely happened fast. I don't remember exactly the timeline, but, um, you took me through the script. I went through it. I practiced a little bit. I kind of went through it a couple of times just to, you know, get a hang of it. And I realized what was missing. It's again, like not going deep enough, um, as well as other little things. But I think that was the main thing. Um, and then like my conversion rate doubled in, I don't know if it was days or hours, but it just completely yeah. changed that fast because I had the calls booked, right? Like the leads were there, the people were interested, but that switch happened extremely fast. Um, yeah. spe specifically after I kind of got a hang of the script and obviously you took me through it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I feel like, what was it? How much did you do in cash? Like the first month after we worked together? Was it like, because I know my team said it was 65. So I don't know if that was true or like how that was working. I'm like, I don't know where these numbers came from, but I just want to make sure, clarify from your mouth, like how much did you do the first month, like cash wise and then revenue? Yeah. Uh, in the first full month, um, I made $65,000 cash, which was my highest cash month ever. Wait, yeah. It's the highest cash month I had the entire time I've been running my business, which has been almost three years, was half wow. of that, right? Wow. So that was incredible. In terms of closed sales, it was a, over 100K. It was $110,000, $111,000 in closed sales. Hell yeah. yeah. That's so awesome. What did your husband think about that? He's like, oh, I'm going to retire soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. To read me. Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> As a joke, but probably with a little seriousness. Um, but uh, well, I mean, it's it's incredible because you know we're we're building this family together. Um, you know, it's kind of it makes you realize, you know, hey, there's so much more we can do, and there's like the financial freedom is just kind of starting, and there's so much we can do without feeling constrained. You know, like a kid is expensive or you know, there's all these things, um, you know, that we're going to need to pay. You know, we have a house, we have all these expenses. I mean, we were fine before, but now it's like, now we have like even more freedom than, you know, we thought we'd have. And I think another thing that's been really important for, you know, my husband is that, you know, he's has a corporate job and he's not like a hundred percent happy with yeah. what he's doing. And now it's like, wow, I might have more freedom as well in terms of doing what I really want to do in my life because you're fine <laughs> and we can, you know, live our lives with, again, not just the financial freedom, but it's, it's so much more than that, which is priceless, honestly. So that's obviously been incredible for us. I know. I'm really, really happy for you guys. I feel like there's a new level of safety that comes when you know how to make your own money, um, especially if you haven't been able to experience it before. If you haven't been able to experience like a lot of like high in cash flow every month, there's this new level of like peace that overcomes like your your body. Um, like recently, you know, you just got sick. I know you just got COVID, you know, and like you were able to take a couple weeks off, right? And, and focus on you and making sure that you're okay and the baby's okay. You're like most people can, don't get that. Most people can't just like, oh, or at least they're like sick and they're like worried. I'm like, oh my God, how am I going to do this or how am I going to do that? You know, like, um, can you speak on that? Because I feel like this helps you to, you know, like any woman that, you know, needs the leads. That's also great because it's like, even if you're in your own business and you know how to sell, but now you don't have leads, like you're also at a loss, right? So like knowing how to sell, knowing how to bring in leads, like having that financial safety around you. Like, how did that feel like for you, for, you know, your family where like you're allowed to take a moment or like when this baby comes, you feel like you can take a moment? Yeah, that's that's incredible, because I think two years ago, if or even like last year, if that would have happened, I would have definitely freaked out. And I don't think I would have been able to take time. Right. 
I had COVID before COVID. I had a bronchitis. Um, you know, I'm pregnant, so everything feels you know, I can't really take the meds that I can usually take. So it's been really painful. But I took time. I took a lot of time off without having to worry, right? Without having to feel like anxious, without being on my computer all the time, worried about something's gonna, you know, fall through the cracks. Why? Because Obviously, I have a team. I'm not in it to, you know, by myself. I have someone on my team who helps, you know, coach my clients. But the system that we built to generate the leads and the calls, the sales calls, just keeps on running. Like, there's nothing I changed, right? So, like, the flow of leads has kept on coming through. Um, I do have a closer that I have hired to help me with sales calls. And I did that, thankfully, before I got sick. So she's yeah. been able to take over. So in terms of like the cash flow and the revenue, nothing has changed, which is incredible because I was out for a month and working probably like sometimes three hours a day, sometimes an hour a day. Um, but that also gives me the confidence that, you know, when this baby's going to come and I'm going to yeah. go on mat leave, I'm going to be fine too. And I don't have to sacrifice revenue for my business my business is not going to stop working or drop in revenue it's yeah. potentially even going to be the opposite so that's an incredible feeling and obviously i want all women to experience that um you know life is harder for women in general just because we have more burden on our shoulders we have more responsibilities if we have a child it falls more on us than our partner it's just like the reality so women the chance to have more freedom and also make more money and build their wealth without having to sacrifice time with their loved ones their children um for their health um i think that's the best of both worlds right like that's for me this is when you have it all for sure and it's possible it's, it's yeah. possible for me no it's it's so possible and I, I i applaud you for being an inspiration for so many women out there that are like oh trying to figure it out you know what I mean and um, not only that but now you're showing like generational changes you know for you know your son or daughter whoever they are just want to know <laughs> uh, um, you know and um at the same time I feel like so many people get like scared um when it comes to like investing to obtain skills right like even in both ways right like hey like how do you expect to be able to hit like $20,000 months, $30,000 months, $50,000 months, $100,000 months without investing the time or the money in order to obtain the skills to get there? And that's for your like your business and for mine, right? Like I see it all the time. I'm like, how do we expect us to be able to get to $100,000 months without, you know, increasing the, the skills with learning how to close more with, with yourself? Like, how do you expect, you know, for someone to be able to obtain a lead so that they can make more money without investing to be able to set up something proper, a proper structure in order to obtain it. You know, what do you, what type of advice would you have, you know, for uh, a woman, right? That is like scared because I've been there. I've been there to where like, I didn't have the extra time or the extra money to be able to invest in something so that I can obtain the skills to get to where I want to go. But I also know that if I didn't do anything, I would have never hit another level. You know, so if there is a woman, you know, regardless if she needs leads or she needs to grow in sales skills, like what advice would you give her um, so that she can know that, you know, it's possible for her too, but she gets to take a risk on herself? Yeah. And and I understand it's scary because I've made investments before. I was scared to make my investment with you. I mean, uh, it's not, it's not like, you know, it's something that can be done easily. You're always thinking, you know, what's what is going to happen? Is this going to truly work? Am I going to be able to step it up to the point where, you know, I'll be able to get these results for myself? I guess my best piece of advice of advice is trust yourself and trust the process. Even if you don't see, especially the proof, but also like the results, right? It can take a little bit of time or yeah. maybe you don't see immediate, you know, return on your investment, but you always want to choose 
the next outcome? Do you want to stay and still continue to struggle for God knows how long in order to learn how to get more leads in your business, learn how to automate your marketing, learn how to get better at sales? Or you can make that investment, even though that's scary, and learn these skills that will allow you to create that abundance in your life. Um, wow. But I would say like trusting the process, but also trusting yourself, knowing that everything's going to turn out totally fine at the end because you are making the best decision for yourself and your business. Keeping that in mind all the time, for me, at least it's helped me, but I know it can help a lot of other people just continue to move forward um, and make those investments, which are crucial, right? I wouldn't be here if I didn't invest with you. Yeah, I right. know. I appreciate that. And like, I feel like in intuition is such a big thing. Women naturally have it. Like trust your intuition, right? If your intuition is screaming like bad idea, run, like don't do it. Don't, you don't have to prove to yourself, oh, I could do this anyways. Like, no, like you're really just take a minute and breathe and like, does this feel good to me? You know? And if it doesn't like, listen to that, but if it does, or if there's a little bit that's like, Hey, like, yeah, you get to explore that, you know, without like hindering yourself. Cause sometimes I feel like we block ourselves. We're like, Oh, we're so close to something. And then we like doubt ourselves or doubt possibilities, you know, and then we'll never get to where we're supposed to go. If we can't see it. If we can't dream it. Like it's really hard. Like you weren't going to hit $100,000 a month unless you were like, I want to hit $100,000 a month because hitting $100,000 a month is way different than hitting a $10,000 a month. It requires different things, requires different structures, requires different like standard for yourself, you know? So no, I really just appreciate you being here, Reem. You know, where can everyone find you? So if you're a coach and you're a woman and you're trying to get leads, I know you have a good Facebook group and stuff. Like what is that? So people can find you. I know we have your IG on here. Yeah. Um, so my group is called Badass Babes Entrepreneurs. Um, but I am really present on Instagram these days. So you can just follow me at um, at my coach Reem. Um, I'm pretty active in the DMs. I like to hang out there. So yeah, you can just find me there. We can connect. Let me know how you what you thought of this. If you have any questions for me um, on whatever it is, right? Whether it's working with you or you know elevating my sales sales skills or even just like questions about how just to create more automation in your marketing and get more leads in your business um i'd be super happy to have that conversation perfect yeah connect with reem she's a badass and she's gonna let us know when this gender reveal is in the next two weeks <laughs> we'll be super excited on that um for any ladies that are watching um if you haven't got our top 50 objection handling book to help you the guide to diffusing objections just comment below objections so that we can get that over to you um and i hope that you all have an amazing day follow reem tell her i said hi and uh we will see you on the flip side bye